right, April 8, 2022. Paul Harvey's got a short clip, three minutes. I suggest all of you take a listen. I will post the link down below if you don't know how to look that up um, in, in, the, in, in this um, section down below. That's fine, just Google it and, and take a listen. Like I said, it's, it's a three minute clip. Uh, his American broadcaster died some uh, 13, 14 years ago. He's been in TV, ABC business for a long time, for decades. So this clip is from the 60s. To be exact, it is 1965 when he decided to, um, to talk about this insane, precise forecast. If I were the devil, what we are watching, witnessing, unfold right before our eyes as I'm recording this video in 2022 okay and what am I talking about uh, before you listen to this if you have not he talks about how to divide family what tools to use uh, via mainstream media etc I mean it is in detail it is beyond scary and as you know this channel is not to scare you this channel is to prepare you for what is coming ladies and gentlemen it is inevitable what is coming because in a way it's already here okay and this is the uh, communism Satanism you can add a uh, few other so-called religions where beheading is okay pedophilia whatever you want to you know bundle in this uh, bundle deal uh, all of that is is being pushed before everyone's eyes slowly in phases is what I talked about one other example I made a video right when the health event started that the mask is basically uh, the mark of the beast uh, many of you may just click off right now and say this is just another tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist blah 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 uh, that's fine especially if you can't handle the truth or if you are weak-minded uh, where you want to keep ignoring things do nothing about it and just watch this unfold okay so why did i say that the mask is the beast basically the mark of the beast is not the mask actually itself it's just because of the phases when you let certain things uh, kind of uh, being ushered in it just kind of slides through okay without anyone doing anything about it besides complying that was just the first sign of obedience is what i talked about slowly you get no entry allowed and when you look up the mark of the beast that's basically what it is okay when it comes to you can't buy food unless you received the mark well now you say well it's not on the wrist it's not on the forehead it is coming okay it is coming we've got paperless society that's been trending now for over a decade Remember, go paperless when you get your AT&T bill or whatever Verizon wireless bill or some other bill. It says big letters up front, go paperless. You are being desensitized, okay? Don't use cash. A lot of young people nowadays, when you give them a $20 bill, if you, you give them a $50 bill, forget it. They'll probably call police to arrest you because it's counterfeit or something. <laughs> they just you know are so used to everything digital and now through of course cryptocurrencies this is uh becoming very easy for the central banks to issue their own currency which is paperless and where am i getting with this is you will be chipped on your wrist or your forehead in order to board a plane buy groceries and it's for your own convenience get it why why hold a cell phone or a credit card in your in your pocket in your in your wallet when you can just you know put up your 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 wrist or or put your head forward kind of like they were checking for temperature with the temperature gun if you remember that that's also a form of submission by the way when you are getting comfortable with bowing down and putting your forehead forward uh, all of these are some nasty nasty uh, methods these um, communists these Satanists are and have been using on a daily basis and uh, this is not going to stop and like I said what we are 
witnessing uh, when it comes to abortions and everything else that's been going on in the United States, taking out the Pledge of Allegiance, all of this stuff that's been going on, uh, family, uh, being strong, uh, having uh, family values and all that is being pushed, pushed up under the rug. It's, it's really sad, it's disturbing, but there are ways for this to, to be fixed, okay? You need to share these videos if you can't make videos. You need to, you need to talk to your family members. You need to do something. Uh, people need to do something. You can't just sit on your hands anymore because you got your two hundred thousand dollar a year job and maybe your uh, house is halfway paid off or it's paid off and you haven't been uh, hit with any sanctions. I call them when it comes to restrictions for the current and you know, past health event, events with all the variants we've had. Uh, you, you don't, you, listen, you, you are not wearing a bulletproof vest for this. It is going to, everybody is going to reap these benefits. I'm being sarcastic, as you can tell, from what has been going on. Everyone, unless you are in the 1%. If you are in the 1%, I don't think you're listening to this video. If you are, you're probably working on getting it banned. And how are those people who are in a maybe 10% of Americans, maybe 5%ers that are doing really well financially, if they don't own hard assets, they're gonna get hit uh, with inflation to the point of they will be wishing they were way older because you just don't know. Hopefully people in their 70s can live up to their 90s be up to 85 years old 15 years from now we have no idea what's going to happen to the almighty dollar that's been under attack uh, globally uh, officially now okay which I've been talking about for about two years now that the dollar the reason I'm betting against the dollar by holding hard assets is because the dollar is betting against me it's not because I want America to to, to fail I, I don't want the dollar to fail I don't want any of this to happen you just got to watch what's going on and understand if you are not spiritually uh, working uh, emotionally uh, uh, on yourself with your family every single day you're not going to be able to weather this storm you got to be set financially whatever it is even if you have a round of silver or something uh, you stacked up on old wine, whatever, some, something real, instead of just paper and digits on the screen. Uh, it is going to get very rough for a lot of people. Uh, working out, uh, watching what you're eating, so you can um, go through this reset a lot easier than people who are unhealthy. And we're talking not things that just happen to someone who is trying to live healthy. There is a lot of uh, sad stories out there that somebody gets cancer even when they're in their 20s or, or young children I mean these stories are just what can you do right but if you can control certain things like going to fast food every single day living unhealthy and not paying attention what's going on following all these uh, sanctions against to be the people just because you want to be dependent on government it is uh, not going to be pretty you got to get spiritually as number one, financially, whatever it is to your ability, and physically ready for, for the reset. And the reset is communism. And communism's best friend is a man-made famine, okay? So yeah, there is gonna be more shortages of food. Uh, there is going to be uh, scarcity of food globally. It is going to happen. There is... Um, no way that this is uh, not going to happen even in United States based on the policies these freaks that are in control are continuously pushing it is just uh, a name show me one bill something that makes sense please I am all ears I would love to hear I just don't see it I think uh, we the people I am pretty sure I don't think we the people will win okay it's going to be a struggle it's going to be a long decade but we will prevail but like i said if you think you are prepared just because um you did a couple of little things here and there and you continue just to kind of follow along with this and uh, you are not practicing every single day on the areas that i just outlined here for you 
uh, you will be down on your knees. That's what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We will be driving cars, especially in the cities, and people will be praying on their knees. That's how bad it's going to get when the dollar actually implodes officially, meaning like you need $1,000 for a cart of groceries or more than that. And that's where we are heading uh, for sure because quantitative easing, meaning counterfeiting of currency is not stopping. Uh, they are not doing any kind of uh, tightening. Uh, they are not shrinking their balance sheet. All of this is just noise. Watch what they do, okay? Do not listen to what they say, just watch what they do. Why is Bill Gates buying all this land throughout the United States and globally? Why is Bezos doing so? Why are these people doing that? Of course, me and you can go out there and buy thousands of acres of land in places like Hawaii or even in, in Midwest or, or Southern states or, and whatnot, but you can maybe get an acre. Maybe your house that's 5,000 square feet in a fancy state can be replaced with 2,000 square foot home that's older, but you can have an acre of land with no HOA. You can have your own food, something. Maybe you can fit 30 chickens, May build yourself a little chicken coop, something. People can do stuff, okay? They just don't wanna do it because they're comfortable in their own bubble. But unfortunately right now, that's not working out. It is not going to work out. And if you are, like I said, older and you just want to sit on your hands here because you um, you are basically done, you're about to retire or you retired, you got some uh, nice savings, you got a little bit of gold, you're going to be watching your kids, your grandkids going through pains that will be unimaginable to anyone, okay? People need to get together and uh, put a stop to this before it is too late. And I think it is going to happen. I do believe so. It's why I say we the people, good will prevail over evil. And I truly believe that. Keep repairing, ignore all the lame stream media talking heads and you will do a lot better when the actual shit hits the fan and you haven't seen anything yet. Again, I'm gonna repeat this. This channel is not to scare you. This channel is to prepare you. I'm out.